Alright, guys, so they're playing some Jack's top lane in this new patch, and we're playing against a Mundo this game. I'm gonna show you guys how you can carry with Jax. So, what I recommend to you guys right now is Little Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End. Then we also have Biscuits instead of Resolve Page. We also have Cosmic. And the reason why is because Biscuits provide uh, permanent mana as well as Sustain. And Cosmic gives you a reduced cooldown on some spells, which allows you to snowball like twice as hard. So, it's something you can do if you're, if you're into a pretty easy matchup. Like, there's a lot of matchups where you can run this setup into. I consider the Mundo matchup to be a very easy one as well, even though he um, he ignores my Counter-Strike to some extent. It's a pretty good matchup. I want to cheese him level 2. This won't get him level 2. Check this out. Please. I would appreciate it. No. <laughs> I think he's running uh he's running the healing setup. I think I can probably still kill him. Hold on a second. There you go. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. This is something that you can do against a most of the top laners. That's the that's the beauty about Jax. Not only do you have a champion, um, which in general scales like a beast towards the late game um the jacks early game is incredibly op because the counter strike the the fact that on level one with a press of an ability you can ignore all auto attacks plus its damage plus its cc at the same time this is such an op like ability to have level one like Definitely like 80 to 90% of all top laners that you play against, you can actually win the level 1 very easily just with this one ability alone. It's really good. Um, anyway, we now have an advantage because we have uh, two extra items already. Let's see if we can actually fight him again. Need to get the wave into the right spot, into the perfect spot, then we're going to look for an all in. Gotta miss that, it's okay though. So first need to like thin out the wave just a little bit because otherwise it's it's like shoving too hard. Which is something we absolutely do not want to have. There we go. Always use the counter strike as long as you can. Like um, as in like not using the stun because um, as long as you can stay within range and hit the CC, the longer the counter strike will last for, the more auto attacks you can block, and the better it is for the lane. So like use it to to the maximum advantage. Only when they are about to get like outside of the range, um, that's when you want to hit the ability so you can hit the CC and damage. Um, now, of course, it really depends on the situation as well. If you're looking to burst someone or, like, the situation is just not good for you. Uh, yeah, you gotta press it earlier, but... In general, like, you wanna make the Counter-Strike as last as long as it should. Because that way, like, you can have the... You can block the maximum amount of autos with it. But again, like, it really depends on the matchup you're up against. Like, there are some matchups where you cannot do this. Like... He's freezing. Got the passive out. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> it's not worth it in my opinion. Pretty bad. Not okay, because the wave is also in a really bad spot. It's not that bad because the wave is actually pushing under towers, so... It's not that bad, actually. He's gonna lose all of the XP here. I hope. I'm kind of afraid it doesn't get under tower. No, it doesn't. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah, it's just like I thought. That's bad. That's really bad. Like, I'm losing the entire wave now. So, not worth it. I'm not going to place a ward down. I absolutely do not care about getting ganked by Kane because I should be able to 1 versus 2 right now. I can place a ward down here though. But I don't have to... 
Kane is up here. Okay, the wave is shuffling into me. We win right now. Because uh, Mundo is unable to last hit properly. Because the wave is pushing into me. If he tries to last hit, I'm, I can directly go in with my Q. And then hit the counter strike. So... It's pretty much done right now. There's nothing that Mundo can do anymore. All I need to do is just force him away from... Uh, Nice. Really good. Surprise. I'm gonna walk in the brush here for the, the mini Nagro. It's okay if that hits. We can burst him the very next time. Ah, did I really get hit by the Q? That's not good. Any extra damage I'm taking right now is bad. Not very happy. Not very happy. No. I am not happy with that. Absolutely not. At least, again, like, it's not that bad. Because the wave is, like, pushing into me. But you know what happened? This is this is really unfortunate. This is just really unfortunate. So what happened was I had him in the perfect spot. All I needed was to combo him once, and that is it. You know what happened? I jumped mid-air, and Mundo his passive came back. Yeah. Super sad. Cause the, like he I, I I should have been alive there. But the passive came back. Yeah, it's fine. We still won the fight, so it's not that bad. Hey, Complexy. Hey, thank for the resub. 11 months. Welcome back, man. Is there a war? Wait, there's a war in here, apparently. Okay. That's interesting. But yeah, hey, thank for the resub. 11 months, man. That's nearly one year. I wanted to block the cannon. My bad. Farming-wise, we're really far ahead currently. Like, double the farm, to be precise. Like, we're still winning because he's not, he's not able to last it because he will get inside range. There you go. Keep blast hitting. Turns out he's trying to roam right now. Okay. Hmm. He's pretty much dead. I don't think Akali's seeing it. <laughs> the Akali walked backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and it's literally a free kill on the way. <laughs> it's okay though. He just didn't see. Let's uh, shove this out. Then we can reset after. Okay. Actually. Just gotta make sure that the wave doesn't freeze like it did last time. Hmm. We can uh, we can take care of the tower, no problem. I'm definitely gonna die again. <laughs> oh man. 
Okay. All right. I died like three times, like killing Mundo under a tower or something like that. But again, like every single time that I'm doing it, it's actually worth it because the entire wave is going down. We're actually getting an advantage out of this because he's losing all of it. Now, could have the, it could have been played better because I actually had my jungle up here as I was approaching him. But it turned out that my jungle was going to go for the jungle camp. I just wanted to kill Mundo there. It was like the best opportunity. Didn't want to avoid the uh, the good opportunity that we had. So let's walk back. We currently have almost tripled the farming lead because we have been constantly preventing him from farming at all times. Even with the deaths we had, we've been uh, making some pretty fancy like advantages from it. We already have the item. This guy doesn't even isn't even close to getting the item. You can see that he is avoiding at all times right now. I'm looking to all in him whenever I get the chance to. Okay. I don't like when Mundo players play like that. Because he's standing like completely outside of Q range. Like nowhere close. There we go, finally got him. I had to waste my flash. I'm gonna shove this one. Perfect. Triple the farming lead. This guy's 37, we have 94. We've just been denying him literally everything. Too. Didn't really want to press ignite, but unfortunately I didn't really have much of a choice because he was about to press R otherwise. So yeah, didn't really have much of a choice. Was the best way to play it out for me. Now we already have a Define Sunder. So what we're going to be building next is probably a dead stance because they buffed uh they buffed that stance not too long ago it now provides ability haste um it's really good in this game because they have as you can see they have ad support ad draven they got ad mid ad jungle even mundo is like partially ad he's going tank so no ap for them he missed it Yeah, let's get let's get tower. They're gonna get Drake, but I don't really care too much. There we go. Let's get the entire thing. Well, it's okay if that happens. Our players failed. Ah, oh, do I really get Draven altered? No! <laughs> No, I was gonna queue to the right side, you know, dodge the uh, the set W, but I was a little bit too late. I was trying to get like an extra auto in before, you know, taking the approach, which is actually extremely unfortunate. But again, like it's fine, 
it's whatever man let's go for steel caps and then we're going to be going for a death stance i think i'm just going to go for a warhammer just have some ability haste there you go much better than the pickaxe Okay, let's take a look. The Mundo now has Heart Steel, but he will never be able to proc Heart Steel because every single time he will die for it. So if he wants to get stacks, he's gonna have to play it. Um, he's gonna have to play the risky game. Well, yeah, it's whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I just want to take the wave and get out, man. <laughs> Alright, I'll just walk out myself. No problem. That trade is not worth it because you just got a proc, basically. There you go. Kill and Herald. Not bad. Not bad. Now we shove this. Look at next wave. Then we instantly go for a back port. And get my pickaxe slash armor. Let's go. So now pickaxe and armor at that point. We now start winning the game. There is no avoiding it. Like the enemy team is not going to be able to kill me anymore. Because not only do we have uh, a lead right now. Like multiple level lead. But these guys are full AD. And we have steel caps. And now starting to build death stands as well. So these guys can completely forget about their game. I'm going to be crushing it. Oh, blue buff is gone. An enemy has been slain. 10 HP. It's yeah. Riot doesn't have the back. I don't, I don't have Riot on my back today. <laughs> oh, he still gets the shutdown. Okay, not bad. Nice. I canceled one of my autos. That's why I didn't kill him, but I could, I could have dished out like more damage. Yeah, again, like, it doesn't matter anyway. There's a fight in mid lane, but to be honest, like, it does not matter. Got him. Well, that hit actually. Not bad. <laughs> the Pantheon came from here. Okay. Alright. So. What we can do right now. To. Win this game even harder. Than we already do. Since we know that they're mostly based on full AD. What we can do is go for Spear of Shojin. Now what that's going to do is super simple. It will make me more HP, more damage obviously. But more importantly, it's going to make my my combo, especially, you know, everything here, um, lower cooldown. Now of course it doesn't fully work with E as well as it like any other ability, but it does something actually. It's not that bad. You actually gain a lot of ability haste. Um, even when it's like a stun, right? We're going to build that. And with that, it, the more points we put in E, the harder we're going to win this game. Because ultimately, if we can get Counter-Strike on a low cooldown and everything else on a low cooldown, Q, W, everything, um, we will be complete, completely unkillable. Got 
I'm both. I don't think he will try. And then they will surrender. Yeah. The game is obviously done. Like, we are way stronger than they are. Like, very obviously so. Either way, this is Jack Stop playing. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.